six months and still no arrest after a mother says her daughter was hit and killed while walking across Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway in West Atlanta. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Tori Cooper and this is Atlanta News First. Brittany Glover's family says the driver sped off, leaving her to die. Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson spoke with her family today. In Asia, they're demanding changes be made to this roadway, right? Brittany Glover's mother is not only asking for people to come forward with answers, but she and many others are asking for changes to that dangerous road. And Brittany didn't have to die. If those changes, it could have been minimized. Valerie Handy Carey says it's been six months since her daughter, Brittany Glover, was hit and killed while walking across Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway in Atlanta. And the perpetrators have not been arrested. Glover's mom lives in Columbus, Ohio, and says her daughter moved to Atlanta for a new flight attendant yes. job with Spirit Airlines, but she didn't get the chance to start. She got here Friday night and she was there Sunday night. She, along with transit advocates, and city officials, not the only the answers. Imagine if Brittany was your daughter, your sister, your wife. Packages for families that are less fortunate. But demanding changes to the road. Huge problem in the city of Atlanta, in the state of Georgia which is the ninth most dangerous for pedestrian safety. Valerie wants traffic lights installed, the speed limit to be lowered, and more speed limit signs posted. The accountability looks like for me, um, the city, the state taking responsibility. Keisha Waits with Atlanta City Council says things are in the works. It is getting a traffic device here, a light. And putting up speed limit signs. Waits says this stretch is a state road. To change the speed, the actual speed of this particular road will require state approval. But with Brittany's 34th birthday being last Wednesday. Happy birthday, Brittany! Her mother and many others are holding on to hope. Whatever reason, I can't let go. Councilwoman Wade says she's standing with the family and committed to advocating for these changes on the state level. In Atlanta, Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First.